The Gemara says something mind blowing. I've seen him, this is good enough for me. I've seen him, Sadiqim, Sheyemro, of Nahem Kodesh. I mean, it sounds very cultish, but it's in the Talmud, in the Gemara of Babasra. That there will come a time in the future where people, you know, in the in, in Shul, when you say the Kiddushah, the prayer called Kiddushah Holiness, so there's one in the middle of the, all the prayers, one prayer has the distinction of the name Kiddushah, holiness. And all the prayers are holy. But this prayer is called Kiddushah. Can you imagine what kind of the tenth degree of holiness? And then one of the main lines in that Kiddushah prayer is Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. And the Gemara says that when Mashiach is going to come, and people will be able to see truth and reality, seeing <coughs> Sadikim. That who are we going to say Kadosh to? To a tzaddik. To a human being of flesh and blood. To a tzaddik. Holy man. That's what the Talmud says. You can't rip it out. They tried to censor the Talmud, burn the Talmud in Europe, a whole bunch of priests and going, but in all the centuries didn't succeed. We still have it. You can look it up even in the Sansino edition of English. Baba Batra 75B. You got it there? Good enough. Huh? You made it in my life? It's 75A. 75A? So I didn't drink enough yet. Machayim, Machayim, everybody. I should tell more truth. Machayim, Machayim. Machayim, Machayim. So, the Gemara talks about such things. We don't even have to wait until the time of the Gemara. How many commandments are there in the Bible? Not, I was a loaded question. I hope you'd say 10. But you, I know. No. But um, 613. One of the 613 commandments is Uvo Tidbakun. You should cleave to him. Who's the him? Who should, who should a Jew cleave to? Capital H for him, right? Capital H. God. Then the commentators say, how can you fulfill the commandment of cleaving to God? It's a commandment. Every commandment has its how to. To fill it, how to? 